I, there's just no way I could put my head around how his mom and dad are feeling. People are using Taekwondo to raise awareness about suicide. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Katrina Spurl. A local martial arts studio is remembering a former student and spreading awareness about suicide prevention. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Miner has more in tonight's top story. Breaking boards is a normal part of Taekwondo, but after a student of the art took his own life, a local studio is breaking them in his honor and raising awareness about suicide. It's a tragedy no parent wants to go through. I, there's just no way I could put my head around how his mom and dad are feeling, you know, because there's just no warning signs. At just 18 years old, Michael Kuda was a freshman at UNL. He held a black belt in Taekwondo and dreamed of becoming a doctor. But on Christmas Eve last year, he took his own life. Kind of just brought to home how, how prevalent this is out there and how it can happen to any family. I mean, it, you know, I think everybody says the same thing as this. No way, I never, I, I can't believe that's happened. I can't believe this person would have done that. It was just like there was no warning signs. Daniel Longoria spent several years as Michael's Taekwondo instructor at Longoria's Black Belt Academy. On Saturday, he held a special board breaking ceremony in Michael's honor. As students went down the line breaking boards, fellow classmates rooted them on with a special cheer. Each board that was broken raised money for the Yellow Ribbon Project, a suicide prevention program. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for 10 to 35 year olds in the U.S. The Yellow Ribbon Project says events like these help making talk about the subject a little easier. But the more we do events like this and that we just talk about it, um, it, it raises that awareness level um, and, and reduces the stigma. While emotional, Michael's family was grateful for the support and says it's a heartbreak they hope to help others avoid. I can do, I can be a voice, I can be a link, and I can help people know that it's okay to ask for help. The board breaking ceremony raised over $3,000 for Yellow Ribbon. Now all that money will stay right here in Lincoln and work to let more people know suicide is not the answer. Reporting in Lincoln, Rachel Miner, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.